brother. I love you, and I'll never try to hurt you. Brothers is about um, relationships with men, and it's about friendship and betrayal, and how a friendship can survive when there has been betrayal in that friendship. My character that I play in The Brothers is going through a situation with his ex-girlfriend, or ex-wife, should I say. Two children, unfortunately not getting on. He's decided to go back to the brotherhood fold, you know, the trinity as it were. And at this particular point, he's trying to make sense of why he is in the situation. I play a character called Brenda, who has two children for the, um, Richard, who's played by Chucky Venn. And he's left her to hang out with the boys, and she's just very angry and bitter about it, and wants him to come home, man up, and be a father and, and a husband. Look, I always said I was going to be there for my kids. They want for nothing. And no twisted, sick woman is ever going to come between me and my children. Now, if you really have nothing positive to say, get your mad ass attitude outside of my house. Jennifer is really interesting. She's a softer character than, than Brenda. Um, she's kind of well-educated, um, a really sweet girl, the kind of girl that everyone wants to take home to, their, to meet their moms. The character I play is a character called Michael. He's a bit of a womanizer. The hardest part about playing Michael is the comparisons to things that's kind of happened to me in the tabloids. You know, you know, some people when they come to watch your play, they take it very serious. They think you're actually that person. Look, can you just see that this is so, so wrong? You weren't that drunk that night, Jennifer. Okay, fine, I wasn't drunk. But I wasn't myself, for God's sake, Michael. I was engaged to Kenny. You know, Kenny, your best friend. The toughest challenge with, with, with my character is, is he's basically had an affair with um, the secretary at work. Do you love me? <laughs> Do yes. you love me? Yes, 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 Sally, I love you. But you still love her. You do. Do you want her back? Jenny wouldn't. <laughs> Look, I've made my choice now. I'm with you. I thought the show was fantastic. Angie once again is here out of the park. It's interesting to see that there's a bit of the, all of those characters in all of us. I thought the show was absolutely amazing and I thought it was really, really true to life. I think it was just nice to see everything from a man's point of view for once. It's always about the women, you know, the sitcoms that we see, it's like the women's pain, the women's emotions. And it was just nice to see men up there doing it for the men. Too true to life, that was the whole thing. No, no, no. True to life of a guy that was trying. I hate men, I've gone right off men. No, I think no, it was just so no, accurate. I never want to see men ever again. Boy, it made me realise I've got a good man there. <laughs> If our whole relationship ends, it's all the fault that Angie Lamar and MTV base, and we blame both of you, don't we? <laughs> this was fantastic, and Angie's done a fantastic job. Yeah, she's done brilliantly. I haven't laughed so much in a very, very long time, man. MTV base viewers, you've got to catch the show because it will expose your own relationship and leave it in shreds Ooh. and tatters. That's why.